be searching uh, for um, keywords. Um, you have a particular research topic that you want to see whether there has been any publications in this area. So can anyone give me um, uh, a particular keyword that captures uh, research in their area? A workplace bullying? Workplace bullying, yeah. Um, shall we first go to title words only? Because if these words appear in the title, it's certainly going to be a really important um, uh, article for you. 46 results. That's not bad. Um, and you can see if we sort by year, you can see that there's a couple of recent articles 2019 2018 there's also been one uh, which looks like it might be um, a phd study um, looking at the university bergen uh, there's one mobbing bullying at the workplace this seems to be one of the earliest um, studies but it wasn't published in a journal it was looks like it is a book because um, it has a publisher's name there. Uh, and then if we sort on publication, we see that um, the publications in Journal of Occupational and the problem with Google Scholar is, is that it doesn't list the full uh, journal uh, title in, for some journals. So you can't uh, see the full title here. Occupational medicine, so you see that it's not just being published about in management and business, but it's also uh, being published in um, medicine. So this gives you a good way to find literature from different sources as well. Um, interestingly here, Pakistan Business Review, um, a specific journal I haven't heard about, but this was about nurses in Pakistan, so it makes sense to uh, publish it in um, a country specific uh, journal. Um, so if you decide, okay, um, there aren't enough, enough results uh, when I search for title only, you can also copy these keywords to the keyword field and this searches not just um, in um, the title and the abstract, but also in the full text of the article if Google Scholar has the full text. It doesn't have the full text for all of the articles, but for many of the articles, it will have the full text. I'll do that right now, but you will see that there will be a lot more uh, results. Um, so we're going to stop the search quite quickly. There will be more than a thousand uh, results because it will search for work, place and bullying. You don't have to separate uh, the keywords with any special, um, uh, with a comma or, or a semicolon or whatever. That's not necessary. It's not necessary in any of the databases. But what you do need to realize is that every database has a different search syntax. So what works in Google Scholar might not work necessarily in Scopus or the Web of Science, or what works in the Web of Science might not work in Scopus. So in the manual for the software, I give an overview of specifics of the search syntax for every single uh, data source. What you're referring to with the asterisks um, is what they call wildcard um, searches. This works in Scopus and the Web of Science, but it doesn't work in the other data sources. And there's technical reasons for that that I won't go into, but it, it doesn't work in all of the uh, data sources. But the details on what works and what doesn't work are available um, in the manual. Uh, there is one other important thing to know is that just like with Google itself, if you want the words to appear together, 
you will need to quote the results because otherwise it will search for work, place and bullying. Um, and it might appear anywhere in the article. And most articles in business and management will have work somewhere in the article. So you get everything in the field. So still a lot um, of articles. So this is not going to, to help you much if you want to get an overview of key articles in your field. So what you could do is limit by year and say, I only want articles that have been published in the last two years to see what the latest research in the field is. That already gives you far fewer articles. 228 is still quite a lot. So you could also say, well, my supervisor has told me that there are maybe half a dozen core journals in my field. Uh, that might include um, articles that are of high quality. So you could include a journal title as well. I think I'll go with um, Journal of Organizational uh, Behavior. And then what I will do is I will go for bullying rather than workplace bullying because they might not use the exact same word. Okay, that's, this looks far more manageable. Um, we've only looked for articles in the last two years in Journal of Organization and Behavior that deal with bullying. And this already gives you some ideas of um, why you might want to um, do a title word search because this article is probably not going to be very relevant uh, for your search. Although ethical leadership, normative conduct, there might be something on, on bullying in there, but probably not crucial. This one, probably not. They might mention bullying somewhere in the article, but it's not, not crucial. That one, probably not. On the other hand, I saw another one, which was about um, uncivil customers and another one with workplace incivility. It doesn't include bullying in the title and maybe not even in the abstract, but you might find that workplace incivility is another term for bullying. And it's, it's one way of bullying. It might not be very um, aggressive. It might not be very uh, direct as some other forms of bullying, but it's still a form of bullying. It's a more subtle form of bullying. So be very careful with making your keywords too narrow because you might not capture related concepts that um, capture the same topic. So in this case, including bullying in the abstract and um, the overall article might be a good strategy because it might enable you to discover other words that are relevant uh, to your topic as well. So what we could do then is maybe say bullying um, or incivility in the title. If you want to say either word can occur, you add or. If you don't add anything, it will use both words. So if we don't include anything, then both words need to occur in the title. And then it will say, there isn't any article that has both words in the title, which makes sense. But if you want to look at either incivility or bullying, then um, you can do it this way. And we can now maybe say 2000, so we get a few more articles. Um, so you can limit it by journal, or you can also say, but then we need to quote this one. You can also say, I add another journal. Um, 
any uh, maybe um, human resource management. Um, we've asked for articles with either bullying or incivility in the title appearing in Journal of Organization Behavior or Human Resource Management. Mm. This allows me to show you a slight problem with Google Scholar as a data source in that um, you get everything which has human resource management. Mm. So whether it's the journal human resource management, whether it's a journal called human resource management journal, whether it's a journal called human resource management review, or whether it's the encyclopedia of human resource management. So if you only want the journal, then I suggest you use the ISSN field. So figure out what the ISSN of the journal is and use that. And then you will only get the journals rather than also getting other journals that have the same words in the title or books or conference papers. Um, and that's a way to uniquely identify a journal because obviously there are loads of journals um, in business and management that have management in uh, the title of the journal. Uh, so you will get lots of different um, results as well. However, um, if you go for another data source, like for instance, um, Microsoft Academic, you can click the other data source and Publisher Parish will keep the previous search. So you don't have to type it again. Um, let's see what Microsoft Academic comes up with. You can see here that Microsoft Academic is a lot cleaner than Google Scholar. Google Scholar covers everything that's available on the web that's on academic type websites. But it might also sometimes include really vague um, working papers or conference papers or even presentations or it might include some duplicates. Microsoft Academic is a lot cleaner. So if you ask for particular journals, it will give you only those journals and it will give the complete um, name of the journal. It will give you the complete title of the article. It will give you all of the authors of the article. So in this case, we find that uh, there's one article in human resource management um, and most of the articles are in Journal of Organization Behavior. So it's already clear that this is a topic that's very relevant in this particular uh, journal. Um, let's go back to the original Google Scholar search and say, okay, we, we have all these uh, results and uh, we want to uh, read the article that has the largest number of citations okay. on a citations per year basis, because that's likely to be a really crucial article. It's also a review of the literature on workplace incivility and an agenda for future research. Well, if you find an article like that, that's gold dust, Perfect. because yeah. that that's, has done all the review for you already and made suggestions for future research. This article is four years old. Um, so a lot of the suggestions for future research will still be relevant for you in your PhD. So this is certainly an article you need to look at, even though it talks about workplace incivility rather than bullying, uh, because I think it will be a very similar topic. So what you do is you right click with your mouse um, on the article, and then you get um, another context menu where you can do a lot of different things. What you can do is you can copy uh, the article as an APA reference. So you can copy it and you can paste it um, in um, uh, your Word document, or you can um, save it um, to Excel or to CSV. We won't go and do this here, but what you wanted to note, Sitsi, is can I read this article? Yes. You just say open article in browser. 
and then it goes to your browser and it and you can't see that because I'm only sharing um, publish your parish I'm not sharing the rest of uh, the screen and then you will see that it will take you to uh, the journal article in question and um, so if you click right click and say open article in browser it will take you to the web page where you can find it. In some cases, um, this will be an open access article, so you can download it straight away. In okay. other cases, it might be um, behind what we call a paywall. So you need to first uh, log in to the library and get uh, the article. But um, I think there will be a session from the library that explains to you how you can set up your Google Scholar in a way that takes you directly um, to the library catalog. So you can link Google Scholar with the library catalog. Yeah. And then when you say open article in browser, it immediately gets you uh, to the article. Even.